everyone. The story that we're reading this week is called The Incredible Book-Eating Boy by Oliver Jeffers. I think this is kind of a silly book, but I really like it. I like it because it's a silly book. The Incredible Book-Eating Boy. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Henry loved to eat books. It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't sure at first and tried eating a single word just to test. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then the whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. By Wednesday, he had eaten a whole book. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. He is the incredible book eating boy. Henry loved eating all sorts of books, story books, dictionaries, atlases, joke books, books of facts, even math books, but red ones were his favorite. And he was going through them at a fierce rate. But here is the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. A, book goes in. B, information goes to brain, brain getting bigger. C, belly gets full. He ate a book about goldfish, and then he knew what to feed Ginger. Before long, he could do his father's crossword in the newspaper and was even smarter than his teacher in school. Henry loved being smart. He thought that if he kept going, he might even become the smartest person on earth. I guess if you're the smartest person on earth, you would get a giant medal that says smartest person on earth. So he kept eating books and he kept getting smarter and smarter and smarter. He went from eating books whole to eating them three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussy and he wanted to know it all. But then things started going not quite so well. In fact, they started going very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. There he is, he's having a nightmare where a giant book is chasing him saying, I'm going to eat you. He was beginning to feel a little ill you see here it says, bite, chew, 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 gulp, green, greener, greenest, boik. He's throwing up in the potty. But here is the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting mixed up. Six plus two equals three, two plus six equals elephant. He didn't have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. Suddenly, Henry didn't feel very smart at all. All the other students are saying, I know, miss, call on me. Teacher must have asked the question and they know the answers, but Henry's just sitting there scratching his head. He doesn't know. More than one person told him he should stop eating books. No more books. Your head and belly can't cope. Besides, it means no one else can enjoy them. So Henry gave up eating books and sat sadly for a long time. What was he to do? Can you think of another way that he could digest his books? Another thing he could do with books besides eat them? I hope so. Then, after a while, and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half-eaten book from across the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up and began to read. And it was so good! He's reading the books! Finally! Henry discovered that he loved to read, and he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. It would just take a little bit longer. Now Henry reads all the time, although every now and then 
You see what he did to my book? He must have ate off the end of it because that's it, the end. Every now and then you can't resist taking a bite. All right, I'll see you all next week.